Hey boys and girls, so we're here for another day of writer's workshop. So remember, when we do writer's workshop, we can write about anything we want. I have my heart map here to help me with ideas in case I don't know what I want to write about. We can write about our pets or animals. We can write about our family, our friends, people we know, people we want to know, people we want to meet. We could write about places we like or places we want to go to. And you can write about things you like to do. So today, um, on Monday, I wrote about my friend's birthday. Yesterday, on Tuesday, I wrote about spiders because we've been learning about spiders. Today, I love my kitty so much and he's here with me. I'm going to write about my kitty because you guys know I love my kitty. All right, so um, good writers make sure that they do their best illustrations. So as the artist, I'm gonna do my best illustrations. I'm gonna add some details. And then I'm gonna make sure my words match my picture. So I'm gonna write about Rossi. So I need to draw Rossi. He's orange. So I'm gonna start with him. Oh, first, I need to put my name. Almost forgot. All right, there's my name, Mrs. Nora. I'm gonna start with Rossi's head. I'm gonna give him a body. Legs, his other paws, his tail, his ears. All right, Rossi has, well, they're mostly, let's see, what do they look like today, Rossi? Hi, baby. They look a little bluish green still. So, we go with blue today. They look a little bit more blue. Remember, his eyes kind of change colors. Sometimes they're blue, sometimes they're green. So I'm gonna give him two blue eyes. I'm gonna come in and give him his nose. His mouth. I need his whiskers. Hi, baby. He's got a little bit of spots on his cheek, too. So I'm gonna add those in there. All right, there's Rossi. I'm gonna go back to his paws. There's his little lines there. Hey, baby. All right, so there's Ross. So now I wanna add some details to my picture. Well, right now, Ross is sitting on a black Stool. Now, not so great at drawing that, but I'm going to try my best. He's more laying down, but I'm going to come back around and draw this circle, kind of like it's behind him. Okay? And then I'm going to do this part behind him, where the bars are. And then I'm going to draw its leg. It's got one, two, three. Four, and it's got another circle down here at the bottom. Right, that's kind of going behind here. All right, so there's Rossi sitting on the stool. All right, so I know his name is Ross, and so I know how to write that. So I'm going to label my picture first. Ross, R-O-S-S. -S. I could also write the word cat because I know he's a cat. And I already know how to spell cat. K -k -c -k -a -a -k -a -t 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 cat. I'm going to write my full sentence now. Let me think about what I want to say about Ross. I'm going to say, my cat is orange. Is that true? Yep. My cat is orange. Orange. I'm telling you about my cat. I'm writing about Rossi. My cat is orange. Say that with me. My cat is orange. How many words are going to be in my sentence? Four. Very good. When we're writing a sentence, my first word has to start with the capital letter. The letter is going to be a different letter. It depends on what word we're writing. But it's got the first letter in my word has to be big. It has to be capital. Let's stop on my first word in my sentence of my cat is orange. Ready? My. So the first word I'm going to write is the sight word my. 
and I already know how to spell the sight word mine. I know it's M-Y. So I'm going to start, and I need to make the M big. So I need to do a capital M because it's the first letter in my sentence. I know the next letter is Y because I already know how to write my sight word mine. So it needs to be little or lowercase. So I'm going to do a lowercase Y. My cat is orange. I'm done with my first word. I'm ready to go to my second word. Let's stop on number two. My cat. So what's my next word? Cat. Good. Before I can write cat, do you know what I need to do before I write my next word? Do you remember? Leave space. So I'm going to put two fingers down. I'm going to come on the other side of my finger where there's no writing. Cat. I already know a C. I already wrote it here. I'm just writing it again. A. At. T. Look, I'm using all lowercase letters. My cat. My cat is orange. Let's stop on the third word. My cat is. The sight word is. So I'm going to leave space. I already know how to spell the sight word is because I've been practicing it at home. I, S. So sight words are super important for two reasons. They help us to read and to be a good reader and they help us to be a good writer. So we wanna practice reading sight words and spelling and writing them, okay? My cat is, and my last word, my cat is orange. Let's stop at number four. My cat is orange. That's a color word. Another reason color words are important to learn is for writing and reading. So sight words are also color words and are also sight words. So if you don't know your color words yet, I'd start there. Start practicing with spelling and writing your color words. Orange, so I'm gonna leave space because I gotta have space. I'm gonna start on the other side of my finger where there's no writing. And I know how to spell orange, O-R-A-N-G-E. My cat is orange. Stop, I'm done. And I told you about my cat. So if I stop, I'm done, I wanna stop telling you something, I'm gonna use a period. I use a period when we tell something. My cat is orange orange. One, two, three, four. I have four words. Is my first letter capital or big? My first letter? Yes. Are the other letters lowercase? Yes. Did I leave space between my words? Yes. And do I have my period at the end? Yes. So my sentence is correct. The last thing, I need to make sure my words match my picture. My cat is orange. Did I draw an orange cat? Yes. All right, I labeled Cat. I labeled Ross. Oh, what did I forget to label right here? The stool. Stool. So what's the first sound you hear? S, which is what? S. So I'm going to write an S by the stool. That's why it's always a good idea before you send in any work to check it. Make sure you did your best and make sure you tried to do everything right. When I went back and checked it, I noticed, uh-oh, I forgot to label the stool. It's okay that I forgot. You're gonna forget. You know Miss Norod's gonna forget. So that's okay. That's why we check our work, and that's why we don't go too fast. So before we send it in, check it. Take your time. I found, oops, I forgot to write it, so I wrote it. No big deal, but I caught it. All right, and I've got my name. My pictures match my work. I did my best. So today, you're gonna pick something to write about. Anything you want, use your heart map if you need some ideas. Pets or animals, family, friends, people, any people, places, and things you like to do. All right, so you're gonna write in your blue journal that I gave you, do your picture, and at least label your picture with the first sound. You at least have to do that. Some of you may be ready to write sentences, some of you may not. That's okay if you're not, and it's okay if you are. If you're ready, go ahead and do it. If not, that's okay. You're writing by labeling your pictures with at least the first sound or with names, okay? That's a start. 
All right, boys and girls, I'll see you tomorrow for our other writer workshop lesson for tomorrow.